So I had to do something about it. That's why I came here. You know it's bad when you begin to look forward to spam. I started to read it obsessively. Then I got even more depressed because I wrote three emails to this Nigerian diplomat who needed help with a frozen bank account. Larry Ghana did not write me back once. The other day I just couldn't wait to go to a focus group. I thought that I would make a friend there, but all the women were married and I couldn't participate in the laundry detergent discussion because I take my laundry to the Chinese guys down the block. They cheat me. And I couldn't offer an opinion on the new bleach product they were testing because I just don't believe in bleach. Chemicals. People say that they're bad for you, but for me, I don't like my whites being unnaturally white. Who would? I guess you could say that the only visit that I wouldn't look forward to at this point would be two men in dark suits knocking on my door from the IRS wanting to discuss my tax returns with me. They're in order. They are. And I may be depressed, but I am just not that depressed. Oh. You know, I really hope that in my next life I can come back something like you. So beautiful and so dumb that I too could bask in that glow of ignorance you people have and everyone would want to do things for me. I meant that as a compliment. I always take it that way when people say I have a dumb, ignorant glow. But really, it's a compliment if you think about it. Yes, thank you. I'm sure it is. Sir? Sir? Yes, you, sir. I can't reveal your name to the entire waiting room. Will you please approach the desk? This is how it works at New York Psychiatry Associates. Based on a preliminary evaluation of your problem, we have compiled a list of doctors for your consideration. Now, every day at one o'clock, you'll meet a different doctor in one of our evaluation offices, which are these little rooms down that long hall. Now, you and your prospective doctor will have a brief chit chat. And if the two of you decide that it's a good fit, then you'll choose that doctor and you can begin your therapy. So I get to see which doctors work best for me and my problems. Think of it as an opportunity. They'll be pulling out all their best stuff to get you to begin therapy with them. Uh, your first appointment is with Dr. Jameson. Now. ask you a couple of questions about yourself and get to know you a bit and uh, then you'll decide whether or not you'd like to continue understandable what do you mean understandable I just understand that we may not be a very good fit oh do you always jump in and assume the worst I'm sorry did I did I say something wrong oh a single word can convey just a depth of meaning understandable what is your tone my tone mr. Laura I've been practicing psychiatry in private practice for the past 11 years I received my psychiatric training from a little college called Harvard University. Ever heard of that one? Not too many people have. As a graduate of the uh, Massachusetts General and McLean Hospital Psychiatric Residency Training Program. So if you're going to continue to be insulting, perhaps you should see another doctor. Um, what is bugging you, Mr. Lorber? Well, the only things I look forward to in life these days are what other people would genuinely avoid. Like last week I was visited by a Jesuit Bible salesman, and now I'm hoping that he'll come back. 
Isolate it in a sentence. Isolate? Your Jesuit Bible salesman, what's he like? Well, he limps. Okay. Okay, you look forward to seeing your limping Jesuit Bible salesman. Say it in a sentence. You mean like... Exactly, exactly. Let me hear you say it. I look forward to visits from my Jesuit Bible salesman. How the fuck can you look forward to something with a monotone like that? I mean, do you really, do you really, really look forward to seeing a Jesuit limp up your staircase, carrying a stack of Bibles, you know, coming to your door to renounce Satan and all his works? I mean, if you really, really look forward to seeing a Jesuit knocking on your goddamn door, then let me hear you say it. Let me hear you say it with some goddamn expression in your voice! <sighs> I look forward to visits from my Jesuit Bible salesman. What does he do? He limps! Then say it with a limp! Get up and limp around the room! Engage in it! Come on! There you go! Now say it! I look forward to visits from my Jesuit Bible salesman. What does he do? He limps. All right, all right. Bring it all together now. I look forward to visits from my limping Jesuit Bible salesman. Again! I look forward to visits from my limping Jesuit Bible salesman. Who what? Who limps! Bring it all together. I look forward to visits from my limping Jesuit Bible salesman. Again! I look forward to visits from my limping Jesuit Bible salesman. Again! I look forward to visits! For my limping Jesuit Bible salesman! That's good. That's real good. Sit down. Oh. How's that feel? Does it feel engaged? Yeah, engaged. Yeah, I would say that. Yes. Engaged. You know, caring about things begins by being totally engaged in them. I am very, 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 very strict. And I have a behavioral approach that will help you with your detachment. We'll start with your tone, and then eventually work on that, that little walk of yours. Not just the metaphorical uh, walk of life, but literally how you walk. Okay. Try incorporating some of what we've done today into your daily life. I mean, lose a fucking monotone, pal. I'll kick your nuts in. Okay? I'll try. <laughs> to start. Okay. okay. <clears throat>《What? I said what you need to do is fuck your boss.》I'm sorry, I, I don't think I heard you correctly. Did you just say I should fuck my boss? Fuck or quit. <laughs>